Obviously not the result you wanted, but what did you think overall of the way your team played today? Um, yeah, we didn't start great. We responded towards the end of the first half and played played better. Um, yeah, I mean, Charlotte set out with a clear plan. They executed that plan, and um, yeah, we didn't we didn't create enough. We created, I mean, we created chances, but we didn't have the ball in the the right areas for long enough. Um, yeah, and credit to them. They they won. Um, you know, two two goals off of uh, off of set plays we didn't deal with, and yeah, here we are. So uh, yeah, we gotta we gotta learn a few things and turn the page, and uh, yeah, move forward quickly because you know, next opportunity is gonna come uh, in, in a very short time. How different was Charlotte's approach today compared to when you met them a month ago? That's pretty similar. Um, yeah, it was virtually the same. Um, yeah, but we didn't have the same level of like combativeness um, that we had last time. Um, yeah, and, and there's more to the to the group that we we didn't we were not at our best from a bunch of different angles. So, uh, but we. We can play better. We will play better. It's, you know, we just finished talking to the guys, and it's about you know we will we will learn from this or or we won't, right? And then it'll be done. So um, our challenge now is for us to stick together and learn. It's been over two months since we felt this feeling. Um, so yeah, it's not easy, uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll bounce back. Probably a different team than you were after losing to Denver, but what did you see from your team the last time you lost? I mean, how did they respond? Yeah. So long ago. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, with, like, <clears throat> consistent results and, and winning, sometimes there's a, um, a complacency that can set in. Um, and hopefully this is a, a spark for renewed you know, vigor and determination about how we want to do things. So, um, yeah, I mean, look, it's do or die at this moment, right? So we, we move forward to, to next week and, you know, see what happens tomorrow in, in the draw. And, you know, so, yeah, the team will hopefully will galvanize from this moment. Um, you know, we'll, we'll stick together and we'll find a new, new belief. Um, but yeah, it's it's a tough moment for him, for sure. You've talked several times this year about how you guys, as a coaching staff, uh, really try to figure out a way to, um, you know, uh, help the guys with their motivation, sure. so to speak. I would guess that's going to be a little bit easier coming off of a loss like this. Yeah, I mean, look, like you cannot be motivated coming off of you know a painful loss of a conference tournament at home with the NCAA tournament up next. You know, if we can't find the, you know, the fight and belief and the, the desire to move forward, then, then you're done, right? Like, that's, that's all you are as a team in these moments. Like, hopefully we will play, you know, beautiful soccer come next weekend or next Thursday or whenever we play. Um, but, yeah... These are the times that this group has to like. If you cannot find motivation, then yeah, there's not a whole lot to be to be said there. So they'll. Uh, I believe in the group. I told them that like that's exactly what I just said in the locker room. I believe in the team. I believe in the quality we have. I know there's more to how we can play the game. We have to have, um, you know, a balance and equal level of like fight and football. Like we have to get both right. So. Um, and when we're at our best, we have both. You know, we have the ability to recover second balls, the ability to fight and tackle, the ability to win entry passes, but we also have the ability to, like, you know, pass the team, uh, pull the team apart with how we want to pass the ball. So we, if we can do that, we didn't have that today. We couldn't pull them apart with how we wanted to pass. But if we can add that or find that again, then, yeah, I'll feel good about our chances. Anything you'd like to add about the crowd? The crowd, um, 
Yeah, I mean, hopefully they enjoyed themselves. It was the biggest crowd we've had. Um, I think somebody told me over 2,000, which is great for us. Um, Sunday afternoon, there's families and alumni and all that. So, yeah, we're disappointed we didn't give them a win, send them home, uh, send them home sad. But hopefully they'll show back up. Uh, should we have some home game uh, coming up in the NCAA tournament? Um, yeah, it was it was great to see a lot of old alums and friends and you know people who work on campus and club teams and all that. So yeah, it was, it's nice when you feel that level of support and belief from the community behind you. And so we're we're disappointed we didn't get a win, but hopefully they enjoyed the uh, the moments.